Hello, this is Yakov Fein, lesson 11, TypeScript quickly. Today we'll finish a little something that we didn't talk about from uh, chapter 2. In particular, type never, and there is an assignment at the end of the chapter. They are related in a way. So let's start with this strange type never, never. Never means that this thing should never happen. Never means that you are in a, in a content, context that should never ever happen. Let's try to, to look at it. Let's say I will uh, declare a function. Let's do const. Const uh, my function. Let's say you have this fat arrow function, we assign it to the variable my func, and the, the question is what this function returns. It returns nothing because this loop inside never ends. So this function will never finish. That's why it never returns anything. And if we will hover uh, the mouse pointer over this variable, it tells us that my function returns never. Never is a type, is a keyword keyword that you can use in TypeScript. Not to be confused with the, with the keyword void. We say that the, fun the function doesn't return anything, we can specify void as a return value. But void is basically undefined under the hood. While never means that this situation should never happen. The other case would be, say, you write a function and the function just throws an error. What this function returns? Its return type would be never. So when the TypeScript code analyzer goes through the code and tries to figure out and infer some type, it's uh, um, creators of this language decided to create this explicit type never. When you when you define something with never, const my vari variable of type never. You can even do something like this. If you will do something like this, uh, must be initialized, all right, all right. Uh, let me turn it off, let me turn it off, initialization as usual, and no strict property initialization, all right. No. Let me do, let me do that, so so it won't bother us, it won't be on our way. Because I, I'm trying to explain something uh, different. So I have this variable of type never. If this variable of type is never, you cannot assign anything other than another never. For example, you cannot, you cannot say something like my var is equal this. Why? It says you cannot assign 888 to type never. So, so, so far it means nothing to you, I guess, right? So why bother specifying this type? So let's leave it as, as, as this, but let's go back to the chapter. We'll start working on the mini project at the end of the chapter. And then while working on it, we'll run into a situation when this type never may be useful. So at the end of the chapter two, you see this mini project. And in that mini project, uh, we ask you to do what? To write a program with a couple of custom types, dog and fish. Uh, these are classes and each of them will have a property name. And the dog will have uh, the method uh, say hello, which returns the string, right? And while the fish will have a, uh, should have a method uh, uh, dive, dive, method dive. And we want to have a, a union type pet, a union of dog and fish, and we want to write a function talk to pet, which will take uh, one argument of type pet, right? And, um, and uh, let's see how we can uh, uh, write this function and inside the function we want to check the type of the object that is given to the function. If pet is a, a dog, then we'll invoke uh, the method called uh, say hello 
if pet is a fish, we will just uh, print the message fish cannot talk, sorry, something like this. So uh, let's try to, 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 to write this method. This actually is this uh, project, mini project, class dog. Uh, we want to have a method talk, say, say hello. Actually, first of all, we want to write a constructor. Constructor, and in that constructor, we will do read only, ju just to make it a, a property, this parameter, a read only name uh, of type string. Right, and we, we won't do anything else in this constructor. By just by saying read only, uh, we are saying that I want it to be a property on the class. Then I also want to define a method, to, uh, say hi or something, say hello, say hello, and it'll return a string. And what do we do there? Return, mm. return, what? Mm. Let's do dollar sign curly braces. Mm. Something like this, right? Says hello. Something like this. That's the first method. Right now, the second method will be actually not the second method. Now, the second class, let's create, copy it over and change it a little bit. The second class will be a fish. Class fish will not have say hello, uh, but it'll have the method dive. And we will say return uh, uh, fish cannot talk. Uh, sorry, something like this. Great. Now we want to create a new type, which is a union of dog and fish. So we will define a new type, pet is equal dog or fish. Great. Now we want to write a function that will take an argument of type pet, right? Uh, talk, uh, what, I don't remember what was its function, um, talk to uh, pet, and it should take an argument of type pet, and it'll return a string. So far so good. Now in there I will write an if statement to check, to do the type check. If the provided, uh, as a matter of fact I need to specify the type of the pet. All right, so if the pet is actually not, not equal, sorry, instance of do dog, right? Then what we do, we return a pet dot say hello. Cool. Now, else if, else if, if, uh, else if uh, pet instance of fish, we will just return uh, uh, actually I return it from the error, so return uh, pet dot dive dive Cool. See, it doesn't like something. Look at this line number 21. It's not happy. Functional x ending return statement and return type doesn't include undefined. So think about it. When I looked at it first time, I think that I did everything right. I said that the pet is equal, that the pet is actually can be only dog or fish. Two cases. Inside the function, I handle each of them. I handle dog, I handle uh, fish. Why it bothers me? Why it says that I need something else? Why? Uh, it tells me 
it may return undefined because there is there are some other cases which you didn't handle. I handled everything. Mm, wrong param. Something like this, right? Uh, all right. So if that's if that's the case, now it's happy, but I'm not happy. Well, I can I can. Uh, use this code, I can create an instance uh, of a pet, uh, for example, const uh, my dog is equal new dog, and as you know, the name of my dog is Sammy, right? I don't have a fish, but let's assume I do, const uh, my fish, what is the name of the fish? New fish uh, Mary something like this so I can work work with this code but I'm not happy with this code why I, I, I'm not happy because I'm the thing that is bothering me is why did I have to go through this trouble define a union of dog and fish and then it's, I still need to write this generic L statement to cover something else which may never happen, which may never happen. See the word never. So, but first, uh, while while I'm keep being angry, I'm saying I, I don't want this union, this stupid union anymore. I can just do any and uh, and be done with it then. So I don't need this type. But then, after being angry for a while, I started to look for. Uh, for uh, solutions, so what can what else can be done? What is the use of union in this particular case if I still need to write this else statement? And the thing is that it may actually be handy. Once again, it's handy because I believe that TypeScript uh, creator for now cannot probably for some technical reason cannot implement it, this exhaustive check that the union has only these two types and I handle both types over here so there is no reason to tell me that there is something else that is possible. But there is a workaround for this which, which uh, uses the type never. So what we are saying basically, if I will write else over here, I know that this should never happen. This else should never happen over here, right? So, what um, is the, what the workaround? The workaround is I, I I write a constant should not happen, right? You can name it anything like this of type never, right? And it's equal to pet. I'm saying I'm trying to assign this pet to a variable of type never and I want to return it return it return uh, should not happen why it happens because it doesn't know that this code should never happen the, the program flow should never reach this point if it doesn't know because I say any over here. Let me go back and uh, back to my type pet. Different story. Now let's take a look. So what it has, it says if the pet is a dog, do this. Else if. If the pet is a fish, do this. Else. Else. Do something like this. Assign pet to a variable of type never. Since this should never happen, this should never happen. Uh, then TypeScript static type analyzer understands that pet can be n pet is never over here, and the variable is never. So there is a, there is a okay. there is a there is a okay situation. Now let's say I decided to introduce a new type frog, for example. A frog can be a pet a class frog and this is the same thing constructor 
let's say read only read only name string string so we have this constructor which doesn't do anything I will not uh, waste my time or your time uh, parameter property read only constructor sorry constructor uh, so let's say I decide to introduce this frog as a, as a new possible value for the union look at this I added a new element to the union and look at line number 33 all of a sudden it became it became red why it caught this error typescript caught this error and says now pet is not never now you did not you did not handle a parameter of type frog and you are trying to assign something of type frog to um, the variable of type never this is not possible when I didn't have frog in as a part of the union it knew that I, I only have dog and fish and that's why this section should never happen that's why never assignable to never was fine but the minute I decided to change it it, it tells me about the problem so on one hand I was angry because I was angry because TypeScript didn't uh, force me to write this additional additional code to check for exhaustiveness of this uh, code of this if statement on the other hand it provided an extra protection that allowed me to catch the situation when somebody or maybe it was me introduced a new element a new member in the union pet and that's why my code maybe elsewhere did not handle a certain situation so that was an illustration for the type never thank you very much and this concludes lesson number 11